Welcome back to part two of Awesome Table Badges. Uh, before I move on to this part two, I realized something I omitted in my previous video was regarding the form submission triggers. In other words, how to get this URL to occur when the form is submitted. So I'm going to cover that real quick and then I'll dive into the focus of this tutorial, which, uh, which is creating the, the badges library. So this, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, is populated via a Google app script. So if you go to tools and then click on the script editor, it opens the, the, the code that you have associated with that particular Google sheet. And this one is the edit URLs. And I had asked you simply to modify the form ID, which is in your Google form. It's that portion just after, sort of at the end of the URL. So it's this portion of your URL is essentially your form ID. So that's where you would find that information. And then to generate that on form submit trigger, um, that you would have to do through the resources. And you can look at the current project's triggers. Um, and if this is the first time you're doing this, you likely will have none. Um, so you simply have to add a new one and then choose the function you're going to run. So in our case, our function, which is this one right here, is to assign edit URLs. And then we set up the event. So it's from the spreadsheet and then on form submit. So this is basically creating that functionality where every time a new form is submitted, um, a new edit response URL will be generated. So I hope that clarifies that portion of the previous video. And now we'll move on to the focus of this video, which is creating the badge library. This is probably the easiest step of the entire process. It's essentially locating your badges and putting them into a place that is accessible via a URL. So I'm merely using Dropbox to collect a public URL of all of the badges I'm using. So in Dropbox, we go into Dropbox and I go into public. I have a folder called badges. I placed all of my badges in one folder here and all I simply did was copy the public link and pasted it in the spreadsheet. Now the reason I, I used this horizontal navigation was simply to make it look like it would on the screen. So it helps me keep track visually of how many badges I have. So and then the, the, these headers aren't necessarily, they're not needed, but it helps me know which URL corresponds to which badge. So and then these are distributed in the sheet as well, which we'll take a look at. So that's it. So simply getting a public, publicly accessible URL to your badges, and then this information will be sort of attributed to the awesome table uh, later on in the process. So that's it. Hope I clarified things from video one and have put you well on your way to building your badge library. And then we'll talk about how these get into the awesome table uh, in the next video, which when we address the class roster tab. Thanks for watching. Bye.